Hi all, I am Disha Shukla and here I am discussing about the different switching techniques. Now, a network consists of many switching devices. In order to connect multiple devices, one solution could be to have a point-to-point -point connection in between the pair of devices. But this increases the number of connection and hence making the whole connection cumbersome. So the other solution could be to have a central device and connect each and every device to this via a central device that is similar to a star topology. But these methods are, are wasteful and impractical for a very large network. Hence the other topology can also not be used at this stage. So a better solution apart from the two topic about from the two solutions that we talked about is a situation called switching. A switched network is made up of a series of interconnected nodes called the switch. A switching network a switching technique is basically wherein different uh, devices are connected. The way we talked about, I mean, they are connected in a point-to-point -point network, but not dedicatedly. That is, whenever there is a need, you connect a particular device to another device that is connected via a switch. So a switch can be connected to as many devices as required. This is called the switching technique and there are different methods in which the switches can be enabled. So in a large network there can be multiple paths for sending the data from sender to receiver. The switching technique will decide the best route for data transmission. Switching technique is used to connect the system for making one-to-one -one communication. As you can see in the figure, the switch switched networks are basically divided into three types. That is circuit switch network, packet switch network or message switch network. And again the packet switch network are divided into datagram networks and wireless and, and virtual circuit networks. So the first, to, first type of the switched network is called the circuit switching. Circuit switching is a technique that directly connects the sender and the receiver in an unbroken path. Circuit switching is generally used in the public networks. It comes into existence for handling the voice traffic in, the end, in addition to the digital data. In circuit switching, the routing decision is made when the path is set up across the given network. After the link has been set in between the sender and the receiver, the information is forwarded continuously over the provided link. It will be more clear when you see the figure. Now as you can see, we have a transmitter A and a transmitter B and a receiver B. So whenever A wants to transmit some data to B, it passes through different switches. We have different S1 to S6 switches. Now as this is a circuit switch network, Whenever you want to transmit the data to B, it can be transmitted using different switches that is different routes that we have. So if you have multiple receivers, you can transmit this data using different routes in a switched network. In circuit switching, a dedicated link or path is established across the sender and the receiver which is maintained for the entire duration of conversation. That is, whenever A wants to send the data to B, first of all, the whole network will be connected. I mean, the whole path will be decided that the signal uh, that the switch S1 will be connected to S2, further to S4, and then to S6, so that A would transmit the data to S1 and simultaneously to S uh, to B, or the another dedicated path that can be from S1 to S3 to S5 to S6. And similarly, there can be n number of ways in which you can pass the data. So basically, in a circuit switch network, the whole network, uh, the whole path is decided before the transmission starts, and then it it is maintained till the entire duration of the conversation. The next uh, way in which the switched can be uh, the switched networks are defined are message switching. A message switching is a switching technique in which a message is transferred as a complete unit and routed through intermediate nodes at which it is stored and forwarded. Now this is also called, called a store and forward network. With message switching there is no need to establish a dedicated path between the two stations. When a station sends a message the destination address is appended to the message. The message is transmitted 
through the network in its entirety from node to node. So each node receives the entire message, stores it in it, stores it in its entirety on the disk, and then transmits the message to the next node. This type of network is called a store and forward network. Now, as you can see in the figure, again the whole message in the message uh, message switching, the whole uh, message would be stored at particular switches, and then it would be transmitted again. In a message switching, there is no dedicated path required between the two communicating devices because the message switching follows the connectionless network. And the last type of switching technique is the packet switching. The packet switching is a switching technique in which the message is sent in one go, but it is divided into smaller pieces and they are sent individually. The message splits into smaller pieces known as the packets and the packets are given unique number to identify their order at the receiving end. Every packet consists of some information in its header such as the source address, destination address and the sequence number. The packets will travel across the network taking the shortest path as possible. As the packets are reassembled at the receiving end in the correct order, if any packet is missing or corrupted then the message will be sent to resend the whole message. In the correct order of the message is reached then the acknowledgement message will be sent. All the packets are reassembled at the receiving end in the correct order. So as you can see that a transmitter A will be transmitting the message to transmitter B but in the packet switched network the whole message will be divided into different parts. Here you can see that it is divided into four parts that is 1, 2, 3 and 4. So from A the message is sent to switch S1 and from S1 to S2 only the packets 1 and 4 are sent whereas from uh, switch S1 to S3 the packets 2 and 3 are sent. Moving forward from S2 to S4 only packet 1 is sent whereas S2 is sent to S2 will send the packet 4 to S3. This way the whole packet will be divided by itself and then the message will be sent. But at the receiving end the whole message will be again joined. Now as we already saw that each message is given some unique identification so that at the receiving end you can club up the whole message. So if any packet is missing or is corrupted then the whole, then a message, an acknowledgement message would be sent to the sender so that again the message can be transmitted or you can rearrange the whole order. So this is about the packet switching. Now packet switching is basically divided into two types that is datagram packet switching or virtual packet switching. So in our packet switching technology in which the packet is known as datagram is considered as an ident independent identity. Now each packet consists of the information about the destination and the switches uses this information to forward the packet to the correct destination. Whereas in virtual circuit switching it is uh, the connection oriented switching. In packet switching uh, that is datagram packet switching the packets are reassembled re at the receiving end in the correct order. Whereas in virtual packet switching in case of uh, a pre-planned route is established before the messages are sent. In datagram packet switching technique the path is not fixed but as we saw that in a virtual packet switching the path is fixed. Intermediate nodes take the routing decision to forward the packets. Call whereas in a virtual uh, circuit switching call request and call accept packets are used to establish the connection between the sender and the receiver. A datagram packet switching is also known as a connectionless switching. Whereas in virtual packet switching, the path is fixed for the duration of a logical connection. So this is all about the packet uh, switching techniques, the three switching techniques that we saw. That is the packet switching, message switching and circuit switching. Thank you.